guys it's me again valve toxic free thank you for joining me still in bermuda i am leaving at some point don't worry do you know what i just want to make a very short video about a few things um it's funny how i read things on <clears throat> excuse me on these groups uh, like facebook groups uh, messages in my comments and my videos and it's funny how when people d decide or have found out that their partner by the by the traits that they've had that they're a narc that seems to be the only thing that will actually make somebody want to leave no contact or, or just walk away from it's like abuse is abuse whether it has a name or not you all need to make a template and I've said this before in videos make a template of what you will put up with from people won't put up with from people and expect from people um, and you need to stick with that and if anybody goes outside that template um, and basically makes you feel unhappy sad I just I, I see it as abuse is somebody that makes you feel different talk different feel emotionally different act different than what you normally would do so for instance if you're walking on eggshells if you're feeling emotional if you're feeling depressed if you can't relate or you're, you're, you're not wanting to say things because you're scared of the reaction you're, you're unhappy he's picking on and bullying you all these things it's a case of abuse it doesn't have to be narcissist abuse it can be just abuse so you need to literally have this template of what you expect from people in your life and if they go outside the template you need to leave or you need to put your foot down and say I will not have this treatment I will not expect this from you and you need to stand up for yourself because it's funny it's, it is it seems to be the only time that someone goes oh it's narcissist abuse I'll leave him now no whether it's narcissist abuse or just normal bloody abuse sorry I'm fishing I've got a line in the water and I'm waiting to catch the big one <laughs> you need to know what's acceptable you need to have, you need to know what is acceptable to you some people I mean for instance now you lie to me once my my filter the sliders on my filter have gone way to the top to get into my life you have to be somebody who I can really trust and to kick out of my life you can just break one little rule in my template and you're out my my template is so tight you go outside by a millimeter you're gone some people don't really some people will put up a hell of a lot a hell of a lot of abuse before they will walk out and leave and some people will just it takes one little thing you know a, a sexy text message from an ex-girlfriend it's each each person's indi individual to what they will expect and accept from their partner but think about what you want in your partner think about how if they make you feel worthless just just have that template um, don't wait for the symptoms to have a diagnosis. The symptoms are abuse, and if you're feeling unhappy, you're walking like shells, your personality is changing for the negative, for the worst, then that's abuse. Just because it's narcissist abuse, it doesn't mean that it's any more serious. Abuse is abuse. Guys, please do something. Don't don't accept anything but the best because you're all worth it we have one life life is a gift life is a gift and we need to cherish it and we need to make sure that it's sparkling it's brand new and shiny and nice all the time it's not tarnished it's not broken it's not damaged we don't want that we want the best out of our lives i know it's hard to leave people if you can't leave them just stand up for yourself they're only humans well, they're human, they're not humans, there's a difference. They're only people, they're only bullies, they're only arseholes, they're only knobheads, dickheads, you want to call them anything. It's funny how I know I'm, there's women out there as well. Nope, I haven't got a fish yet. Got the sweaty look going again today, guys. Um, whether they're, whoever they are, just say. And again, I've said before, the sky won't fall in you say don't you ever speak to me like that again I'll tell you a quick story if you don't stand up for you if you don't actually support your own if you don't support yourself 
people will keep on walking over the top of you or stepping on you or treating you like shit. I had um, an incident in my hometown where a girl used to bully me. Now the reason she bullied me was because she went out with a bloke after me. Now, if I went out with a bloke after her, I can understand the fact that, you know, but because she went out with him after me, yeah, she went out with him after me. Anyway, to cut a long story short, every time she saw me uptown, she'd push past me. She'd go, you fucking bitch. She'd walk past, she'd push me. She'd swear at me and she'd evil me across the pub and just go, you fucking dead, like this to me all the time. And I was just cowering. And I got to the point one night where I was in a bar with some friends and she walked past me between two people and as I saw her face, she went, you fucking, she said something with the F word. Well, that was it. My limit was up. I said to my friends, will she be going to the, uh, the nightclub? And they went, yeah. I went to the nightclub. I saw her walk past and I said, let's call her Sandra. I can't remember her name now. Sandra, can I have a word please? And she looked at me and I said, can I have a word? And she came over with her friend and her friend's kind of got her hand down like as if to say you know stay back to her like don't start on foul and i said can i ask what i've done to you to deserve the treatment that you've given me and she looked shocked and she started going on well you know you're crazy because my my boyfriend told me i said does it matter well you're crazy you're this you're that and i stopped her and i said sorry i can't quite hear what you're saying can you repeat that because what I actually did was took control of the situation and I stopped her in mid-flow and I said, hang on, can you repeat what you've just said? She got flustered. She didn't know what to say. Her friend was still kind of holding her back. And I said, I haven't done anything to you. Whatever your boyfriend said about me, it's between us. It's got nothing to do with you. I could be a psycho. I could be crazy, like he's just told you. But that's my business. Nothing for you to do. Don't go around pointing and swearing at me. I'm done. And she waffled on and then her friend just pulled her away and they went. I then burst into tears because obviously an empath is quite a strong, hard thing to do. It took a lot for me to do that. I did my thing. I didn't stay in the nightclub anymore. I actually got my bag and walked out and went home. That girl never, ever, ever came over to me again or never looked at me. The reason why was because I was unpredictable. In the past, she'd known exactly where I stood, where she stood. She knew exactly that she was higher than me and I was below her. And she knew that I wouldn't do anything or I was always a bit timid or whatever. So she had the upper hand. As soon as I spoke up and I pulled her over to one side, I made her explain and I stopped her and I asked her to repeat it twice. She was in a, she was in a zone she wasn't used to being in. She was on the other side. She was in the position that I've been in. And I took control of the situation and like I say, to this day she's, she doesn't look at me, she walks past. And it's empowering. You just need to do that, just do that to somebody. Stand up for yourself and you'll see that they'll change because they, they don't want to be put into that position to be embarrassed in front of their friends. She was embarrassed in front of her friends because she's obviously shown this image of, you know, a, a big... Um, this is you know one of the leaders leader of her gang and all of a sudden she was being brought down by me and it embarrassed her in front of her friends so she didn't want to put herself in that position again in case i did it to her again so that was that that's that little story please don't put up with shit don't let anyone change who you are people shouldn't you should surround yourself with people who appreciate you and who bring the best out in you who make you smile make you laugh not people that make you feel that you can't speak because everything you say is going to be taken out of context and swapped and changed and twisted and thrown back at you. Not because every time you walk on eggshells or you walk into a room you're waiting for the abuse. It's not right. Every time you say you're going to get a text at 9 o'clock you don't speak or hear from him for three or four, for three or four days. It's not right. Please. Guys. Please stay safe. Take care. Have a beautiful day from Bermuda.